You know, sometimes sitting still is just not an option. I used to hear that all the time in school. Teachers and students across America know these challenges all too well, but hope is here. With a dedicated task force and dynamic, flexible furniture, classrooms are being redefined as we head into the future, and I'm loving this. With us today as part of our Dream Challenge School Series, we have Zoe Malo, Occupational Therapist and Executive Director of Education and Research at Pediatric Therapy Network, and president of the National Association of Secondary School Principals, Ken Griffith, to discuss designing schools for the 21st century. Tell me about some of the problems associated with focus, off-task behavior, getting kids' attention today. Well, you know, really all people need to move, and our children have less opportunities to move than they used to. Mm -hmm. They're spending more time sitting in front of computers and television. Which is terrible. They're not out playing, climbing trees as much. And then really all people need to move. In office furniture for adults, we've had options for decades. And now finally we will for children as well. And movement is important, right, Ken? I mean, circulation, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, absolutely. As I've talked with principals across the country in my role as a association president, they are talking about the learning environment. They're talking about the research that says movement causes blood flow, better learning, the, the research is all the same, and, and you're living proof. And speaking of healthy movement, I want our viewers to visualize it, and we've got a really great story to show this point. We visited a school, Sunset Elementary in Cody, Wyoming, and they have incorporated some of these healthy movement ideas. So let's take a look. Rocking chairs have been known for their calming effect on infants or for enjoying a breathtaking view. But one school in Cody, Wyoming gave a new meaning to the function of a rocking chair. The old adage is sitting still means children are paying attention and learning. That is simply not true. Sitting still does not mean paying attention. Children need to move. So one of the things I started looking for was a chair that would move with the kids. What I've seen though is posture of children is so much better, uh, attention, focus that I see in the classroom. Um, a year, two years later, um, I would never go back to other chairs. I interact with the kids in every fashion. And there are children that, that have grown up here in the eight years I've been here, and they have the same story. They have nervous energy. I don't need to know why they have it. I don't care what their diagnosis is. Those chairs give them a hope. They give them a way to be able to be who they are. Now I have a rocker chair and I really like it because you can move while you learn and you can focus better. Ken, what do you think? Wow, uh, I'm glad I'm from Wyoming, how's that? <laughs> there you go. But movement? The learning environment was the key there, and it was kind of customized to each kid. It was amazing. It's great. And Zoe, let's talk about some of the furniture, which we just saw in the video. We have it with us this morning. Before you tell me about it, I just love the colors. And I really do think if children walk into a classroom and see these bright colors, they're happy. It's, it's a great invitation. And not only you know that you have five senses, which vision and color is one of them, but you have some other important senses. One sense is the sense of movement and balance, and that's being activated by the rocking chair that you're in. This kind of rocking motion is not only calming, it but is. it's also energizing and activating. That's great for a, ch a child's learning ability. Now tell me about this okay, one here. So this is a task chair that's from Verco Manufacturing Corporation. Mm -hmm. And this is a great chair because it allows for a child to get at the just right height. It's perfect for ergonomics. And also in classrooms now, there's a lot going on. So children need to turn and swivel. That's it right. gives them movement and it allows them to turn to where the teacher is or the lesson. We've got another great story of a school that wanted to think outside of the box. In fact, this community has gone all green. I love this story. We're talking about Greensburg School in Greensburg, Kansas. And not only did they adapt the natural environment concept, but we're talking all green, right? Absolutely. Let's take a look. In Greensburg, Kansas, opportunity rose out of tragedy as a tornado ripped through the town, leaving hardly anything left except a chance to start over. 95% of the community was impacted. and We had over 900 homes, 125 businesses that were completely destroyed. How could we put everything back together and how could we build it maybe a little bit better than it was designed or built before? We didn't want to be a a school that just like everybody else. We wanted, to, we wanted to kind of think out of the box. And this new school 
We got all this natural daylighting, uh, the couch is out in the hallway. The school has a very relaxed feel compared to the old school. One goal of the school was to become LEED Platinum Certified. This requires the entire building to be self-sufficient, providing its own water and electricity. It's just fun. It feels like I'm not really at school, but I'm still learning. Wow, Ken, what an amazing school. They won a LEED Platinum Award wow. because they're green. Awesome. Yeah. And you know, when we're thinking about healthy classroom environments, of course, parents are all concerned about furniture being non-toxic. This furniture is all manufactured in the U.S. by Verco, Good point. and it's very safe and healthy for the kids. Well, we're going to talk more about this furniture, so stay put for me for just a couple more minutes. When we come back, we're going to discuss how the community can get involved. Another great story, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Before the break, we were discussing ways to keep up with educating our children as we move into the future, including concepts such as healthy movement and natural environment. Now, let me ask you guys something. We've discussed healthy movement, natural environment. I'm loving this so far, but if you're not an educator, let's say someone like me, a parent or someone that lives in the community and they want to get involved, Zoe, what can they do? You know, well, sometimes parents really don't know where to begin. They hear about budget cuts and crowded mm -hmm. classrooms. Here's something really tangible. A parent can find one of these chairs that's perfect for their child, and that really opens the eyes of the teacher that other children in the classroom could be supported by this kind of healthy movement as well. And it's really important to get that involvement, isn't it, Ken? Community involvement is really the answer to the to the whole problem of reforming schools, changing schools, growing into the 21st century. You have to have your community with you. We have, again, one really short story, but it's a beautiful story about an entire community getting involved. And I'm talking about Yukon High School in Yukon, Oklahoma. I'm not going to say any more. I just want you to take a look. In Oklahoma, school spirit usually unites a community, but for the growing city of Yukon, it was the community which united the school. The problem we faced was the, the growing population, and so our vision was to create a new high school campus and allow our students to have the facilities that would allow for future growth. We were asking the community for $92.4 million, so that was really the challenge to make sure our community had a good, clear understanding of where we were going and why it was so important. The community uh, approved it uh, and they passed it uh, pretty unanimously, 80% of them you know, approved it and that's, that's very hard to do on a school bond issue. We involved the teachers early in the process. We began to get feedback and information and they were really involved with designing what they needed and what would need, meet the needs of the students. It's a really great place to learn. The facility is just off the charts with uh, everything. It's just amazing and I'm very grateful to be here. The community is very proud of the things that we've gotten over this past year. Your schools are your foundation of your community. If you love your community, you've got to love your schools. Oh my gosh, now if that does not say it all, I don't think anything does. Yeah, that is community involvement. A $92 million bond issue and the focus of the entire community on the school Unbelievable, huh? They have it going on there. And, you know, maybe not every community has a bond of that size, but every community can look for partnerships. There's occupational therapists at all schools, uh, companies like Verco Manufacturing Corporation that really care about how children learn, and community members can come together around those resources to really help all children learn at their best. And learning at your best means it doesn't mean you have to stay still. It's just being yourself. And you know, I wish I would have had a chair like this years ago when I was <clears throat> younger. But your final thoughts, Ken, on what we've been talking about and, and just the changes we're going to see hopefully in the very near future. I think your teachers probably would have wanted you to have that chair also. <laughs> I think so too. I, I'm just hearing principals across the country talk more about the environment, the 21st century 
and, and what you're seeing here is the directions that we'll be going. Right, and we hope to support all children. Maybe your daughters will get to sit in a chair like this mm -hmm. and have their learning needs met. And it really speaks to the children. It tells them that, that education's important, that we respect them, we understand them, and that we're all here to help them learn at their best. Thank you so much. Great information. It's been an honor thank to have you. both of you. And thank you for what you're doing. And for more information on Verco Manufacturing and their products and concepts, visit them online at verco.com.